Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time it's a cheap Chinese socket tester off of Amazon. Um, I can't tell you who made it. All I can tell you is it's got that on it. And that's what the box looks like. Now the reason I bought this one is because it's a little bit more unusual than most out there in that it actually tells you what the voltage is as well. So uh, I thought it's worth a look. Unfortunately though, I don't know how accurate the voltage is because I haven't got a reference. I mean I've got various things that show you what the voltage is but I haven't got what I would consider to be something really accurate to tell me. But I bought two of these, so I'll plug them both in and see if they both read the same, then that means you might be with a fighting chance. Anyway, so it, it tells you all the different states of your plug, so if you've got the neutral run the wrong way with the live or anything like oh come on, focus. Focus. Yes, yeah, so it tells you all the different states of things. So I think two on is the correct. Two on, live ground reverse missing a three, live neutral reverse. Yeah, correct. The first two is correct. Anything else is wrong. It's also got this, which I'm not too keen on actually, which will actually make the circuit breaker go. So if you're like me and you've just got this in a socket and you've got like your computer and everything, if someone comes out and looks and says, oh, hello, and pushes that button, then uh, blow the, uh, well not blow, they're, they're trip the fuse. So, I mean, it's great for what it's actually designed to be. It's a socket tester that goes beyond most of them. And it was under a tenner. I think it was about six pounds. It was under seven quid delivered, this thing. So I was quite pleased with that, I must tell you. So in a moment, I'll plug it in and uh, see where we go. Yeah, I've got a few over the years, some of just lights and whatever. But showing you the voltage and, and this, I mean, that, that really is giving you everything you need, isn't it? And what I did was I left one on for quite a few hours to see how well it would last. And after about an hour or so, the LED went really dim. So it's not, I mean, it's not designed to be left on forever, but I thought it'd be quite nice to have a, a voltage reading in the background somewhere. But uh, when I plugged it back in later on, it did come back up to its same brightness, so there was no damage. Just uh, not, I mean, you wouldn't have thought an LED really in the back of there would have uh, needed a heat sink or anything, but it, it, it overheated, I think. So there we are. There is a little manual with it, but I don't know really why you would need it. So let's just show you that. You may wish to pause. I can't see there being really any reason to read any of this. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, so the socket's wired properly. 239, 238 volts. Should be 230, but as I say here, I've had 255 is my highest reading. Now, are they gonna be the same? No, 239, 238. So I don't know how accurate they're going to be, but I guess it is going to be a rough guide. As I say, you can trip by pushing these. I won't do that. I don't want to blow my RCD right now. But for the price of them, I think that's not too bad, especially it's got a nice display there. And, you know, you can read it from quite a, quite a way away. So it's backlit, which is really nice. So um, if you're thinking about a socket tester to have in your toolbox, you could go uh, far worse than buy this one for under a tenner. I say have a good look on Amazon, so you see what it looks like, because there's all sorts of different sellers selling it, and uh, just make sure you pay around seven pounds for it, because it does vary. Of course, sometimes you pay ten pounds for it, and then it comes straight away. This is from uh, someone who's got one in stock in the UK. Usually, when you pay six or seven pounds, you've got to wait a month for it to come from China. But if you're not in a rush, this is the one. So there we are. So that is the socket tester with RCD test and voltage. 
and what state your pins are in, if they're correct or not. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.